dear students and uh, my audience very warm welcome to dr zia ahmed youtube channel today we are discussing on the topic which is linguistic ethnography uh, it will be an introductory topic only so therefore let's enter into it and see what what we can do first of all we should understand that linguistic ethnography is the combination of theoretical and methodological methodological approaches of linguistics as well as that of ethnography it helps us understand the social question and the language as we know that linguistics helps in meaning, meaning making processes and ethnography is there to help us understand meaning in different contexts as well here the role of researcher is very much important because he helps us understand the amic perspectives of the people that means how they think about their ideals about their wishes and desires and therefore it is possible for us to understand language in a very particular setting it provides us openness to complexity contradiction and reinterpretations over time and therefore it's very very useful Uh, but it has got certain problems with it for example it's not a having a fixed boundary because both of these things continue to influence each other sometime linguistics influences ethnography and ethnography influences linguistics and as a result there are no fixed boundaries it is still working as a sub discipline of certain other uh, theories like eth anthropology for example Uh, it is the combination of both of these theoretical and methodological orientations but whatever the purpose may be the purpose is simply to let us understand what is language with respect to society or socio cultural situations how does it work what does happen for example first of all we must understand the combination of ethnography and linguistics there are the problems in our lives which are very complex in order to understand these problems it helps us why so because on the one hand we need empirical rigor neatness and clarity and certainty of linguistic analysis but sometimes we also need some of the openness and that is provided by ethnography both of these things help us understand what happens in everyday life in order to see how meaning is generated with respect to this everyday life i mean there are many instances of small instances of practices that take place around us and there we need ethnography as well it means that certain opening up will be provided in linguistic analysis and certain tying down will be provided in the ethnographic insight in order to create a meaning in a specific situation and therefore we will be able to better understand what the meaning are so therefore uh, this uh, linguistic and ethnography is all about understanding of everyday life in terms of language and in terms of society we know very well that the uh, communications take place with the help of language and that communication is all the time taking place as a social practice so that social practice uh can be seen what happens to it when it is focused on a specific time on a specific space when it is too much focused at that time strict rules of linguistics would be there to analyze all that but then the meaning truly can be understood only at that time when in these smaller situations we are able to see what was the ethnographical kind of point of views involved into it and therefore it helps us understand from micro to macro level we can pay our attention from little details to greater details so that is why it is very helpful in understanding routine life and individual's life in the society with respect to the creation of the meanings which the people most of the time are doing while they communicate with each other but the communication can be effectively only understood when we have the linguistic approach also and then ethnographic approach also so that helps us know what is our present and what in future we can have the definition therefore is here after discussing all that it says that the term does in it in a particular configuration of interest within the broader field of socio and applied linguistics so one can see that two types of linguistics are involved into it one is socio other is applied and then it also goes to take help from ethnography and that is why it becomes as linguistic ethnography uh why we need this we need because we have certain established traditions and those established traditions are very much helpful in making the meaning with the help of the language and that is why it is necessary to take both of these things hand in hand uh well it's not that much established field as the other fields of art like anthropological 
uh, ling uh, linguistics or uh, other like anthropology itself or applied linguistics or sociology. However, it is developing. It helps us understand what happens in sociolinguistics at the interactional level or at the interpretive level and how ethnography can be useful in understanding communication. It provides us help in all these ways, though at a smaller level, but that does provide to us. And so uh, one can conclude, one can reach the final point by saying that both social life and language are mutually interdependent, interdependent. We can understand social life in terms of language and we can understand language in terms of social life. And as a result, we, we can understand the dynamics of social and cultural production also. We can understand what is happening in the contemporary sociolinguistics. All these things are provided as a tool by the interplay between language and social life. And all these things help us understand in dynamic nature of this interplay. And that is why it's been very much necessary that both of these things should be combined in idealistic manner, that sometime one may be open more, sometimes the other may be open more, sometimes one may be restricted more, sometimes the other may be restricted more. In that way, a lot of interplay takes place in order to understand those generated meanings in a particular situation, in the small situation, and in both ways, how language is constructing culture, how culture is being constructed by language. So that is why uh, we can finalize by saying that mutually benefit each other. They depend on each other for the sake of understanding of communication and its meaning. Uh, but then sometimes it happens that linguistic framework or analysis goes one foot back and provides chance to ethnography to come up with its uh, openness. So therefore, there is somewhere in linguistic tying down, somewhere opening up. And in the same way, somewhere in ethnography, there is opening up and tying down both words hand in hand in order to create and make us understand how language is being played in order to construct life and how life is being constructed by a language. So this type of analysis is more useful as compared to any other analysis because it involves not only human culture but also that of language. So that was all about it. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in some next video.